It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and our focus is on Damian Pierce. He was unstoppable a week ago with four touchdowns. It's the Texans and the Steelers, and it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 24. John, a wonderful fall afternoon in the state of Texas. The roof is open, and we've got football from NRG Stadium in Houston. Today it's week four, and we've got what should be a great one here, as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Houston Texans. Hi again, everyone. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Texan ball club entering play here. They've got to be pleased with a start to this season. Obviously, a perfect 3-0. Three good quality wins, too. Let's get people to lock. First and ten. That one complete. It's tanked in. Still shouting tackles. Touchdown, Houston. Tank down with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Texans are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner? Stroud going deep for Hopkins. It got his man complete. Touchdown, Texans. DeAndre Hopkins, 92 yards. And the Texans are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at court. Coming off a great rookie year, it's Damian Pierce. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. There's so many definitions of a complete back. I think most people think a guy who can block, a guy who can catch, and a guy who can run. But how about when you put it all together as a runner and you can fake people out, you can be shifty, and also run with some power and break tackles as we just saw in that pickup. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. The Texans hit 3-0 here in the month of September. And they coming on a pretty good roll here. Winners of three straight. And I thought they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. And they get to Stroud. Nowhere to go, and he goes down. T.J. Watt causing the disruption. He gets the sack. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Drop 60, drop 60. Now Stroud. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, he 
faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And they worked this well up field across the 45. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Hand off right side to Pierce. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And he'll get this pretty close to a first down as he's tackled at the Steelers' 44. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys going to want to run up and tackle him. And they pick up the first down there with a gain of four. Let's go now. Thank you, Cardinal. Thank you, Cardinal. Stroud looking to throw. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. And officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. The throw over the middle, taken in. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Pierce will take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Well, he's been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with the touchdown run. now on first and ten. And he'll try and fire this downfield for Singletary. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Houston. Devin Singletary, 75 yards. And the Texans are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with this... On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. That breaks the tackle now, and he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Let's go. A run for Pierce out of the gun, and he powers his way up past the 30. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Taking a shot for Dell here. And that's caught inside the 35. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Stroud. 
Boy stays up. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Partner, they've been aggressive airing it out all game long and no better evidence than those last two snaps. They weren't going to beat this coverage, though. Two plays in a row, and that one falls incomplete. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. And that's a touchdown. But hold on. There is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Stroud off the play fake. And a catch made by Hopkins. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. On the ready. Running it out of the gun with Pierce. Ooh, with a juke. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Stroud. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. Let's go! Let's go! Pierce takes it straight ahead. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. Ball at the 23, second and eight. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. But we both know there's a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Texans touchdown. Damian Pierce, his 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Texans take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down. Let's go now. Hawk 70, Hawk 70. Stroud from his own end zone. Going deep for Hopkins. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Oh, I like this call. I know they weren't successful on it, but so many times defenses load up trying to get a safety when you're in this spot. How about taking the shot downfield, hoping to use their momentum against them? They didn't get it, but I sure like what they were doing there. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Going deep for Hopkins. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Now inside the 25, DeAndre Hopkins. Touchdown, Houston. Second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Texans have taken a five-touchdown lead. Well, partner, I mean, if anybody was still questioning whether or not he had an NFL caliber arm, I think you can toss that right out the window. That was a heck of a throw right there. I would agree totally. Question it, no. They 
They'll start on the ground with Pierce. And he'll manage to pick up for about four. It's second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than taking it right down Broadway. Inside the 20. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Devin Singletary. His fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Texans get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Pat! Pat the 60! Pat the 60! Go! And they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and ten. Keeps himself in the most curious way there to burn some clock. That was wild. And at the end of all that, it winds up a safety. All right, Charles, help me out here. Fourth quarter, you've got the lead, and you run backwards into the end. Ready? Ready? On the ground, it's Pierce to begin the drive. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be... There he goes, right side! And he steps out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35. 91 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And Stroud now to throw. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And down inside the 15 he goes. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Pierce now up the middle. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Damian Pierce, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Texans are going to be moving. Ready. Stroud looking to change the play. They'll come out throwing here on first down. That's to the veteran. It's Robert Woods. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Throwing now is Stroud. Catch is made. It's Schultz on the out route. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown. Dalton Schultz with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Texans add another six points to what's going to be a blowout victory. Here we go, Jack. Coconut now game. they'll audible to something else. Ready, ready. On first down, here's Stroud. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but Let's it falls down. down to the ground incomplete. Cowboy 80. Let's go. That one looks like he'll throw here. And a diving grab. I think he got that. Yes. 15 yards, the Texans pick up the first down. Partner, I know we're still in the afternoon slate here. Some primetime games still on the docket, but it's going to be tough to top this effort. What an offensive performance we have seen. They have been unstoppable from the moment. Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. And he's brought down. Rookie to rookie on the hookup there, and it's a first down. Hurry, hurry. Here's Pierce on the counter. Fighting through, and he's got space. He's still on his feet, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Starting to really smell a 4-0 start right now. 
can't ask for a better first quarter of the season than that. And you're not supposed to look ahead, but guess what? Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency. the National Football League on EA Sports. And we'll get a look here at DeAndre Hopkins. He was perfect for them a week ago, getting a pair of touchdowns and some massive yardage. It's the Texans and the Falcons, and it's all up next on EA Sports. The weather this time of year in the South, perfect fall football weather. And we've got the roof wide open here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in the heart of Georgia. 
Today we've got a week five matchup in store here as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon along with Charles Davis. And Charles, we take a look at this foul. take a shot right away it's caught inside the 25 touchdown Houston DeAndre Hopkins with touchdown number 12 on the year and the Texans are on the board first here this afternoon Start by running the option to the right. Across midfield, escapes the defender. He's on his way. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. C.J. Stroud, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Texans are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So an electrifying run there as he calls his own number and takes it all the way. Brings a new dynamic to this offense, doesn't he? And right now I'm picturing the offensive coordinator, the head coach in their minds, drawing up some more running plays for this guy because he brings some excitement to this offense. And just a young rookie, a lot of electricity yet. rushing touchdown on the year and the Texans have moved out in front by three touchdowns week after week there catch those safeties creeping up trying to help 70, against 70. the running game they tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully taking a shot for Dell here that's caught inside the 20 touchdown Texans take Dell 75 yards and the Texans are able to stretch out their lead Start this drive out on the ground. Broken tackle. Oh, another great move. Oh, what a juke into space. He's on his way. Touchdown, Houston. Damian Pierce with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Texans continue to pull away here in the... On the devil. 60 bison, 6 18, pioneer. Ready. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. Taking a shot for Dell here. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown. Take Dell. His 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Texans have taken a five touchdown lead. Stroud to throw it. 
And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. Tempo, 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 tempo. Operating from the gun, Stroud buying time to his left. Going deep for Hopkins. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, here's a classic second guess. I thought he had a better chance of a positive play if he just ran it himself. The coverage downfield was really good. That one falls incomplete. Stroud sets up the play action. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Carter, even I can figure out he deserves a lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual threat role. Really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Texans. DeAndre Hopkins. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Texans have taken a six touchdown lead. Ready? Stroud to the air on first and 10. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Sheds off the tackle. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Stroud working out of the gun. He'll get this to Devin Singletary out of the backfield. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A gain of 39 that time. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Devin Singletary taking it in from 24 yards out. And the Texans extend their lead yet again. Well, it has been the passing... begins the second half. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No force for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Stroud now on second down. This is caught. It's Woods. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That would go for 37 yards. Everything's been going right here in this one. This offense, they've been in complete control from the outset. And here's another big play. These kind of routes have been open all Let's game long, and they continue to take Six advantage. The Eagles. Six the Eagles. First and 10, it's Stroud. Another targeting catch for Robert Woods. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Stroud looking to throw. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Devin Singletary. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Texans take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the... Okay, break! They'll start on the ground here on first down. 
And some space here. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 178 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Stroud now on first and 10. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. And he gets it down to the 32. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. He's had success running the football. This is more or less an extension of that because they drop it off to him on the screen. And I'll bet he's thinking to himself, if I didn't have to slow up a bit here in traffic, I could have really made something out of that one. Now here's Stroud on third down. He's going to get that to his run back out of the backfield. Touchdown! Damian Pierce, 32 yards. And the Texans are pouring it on. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield in the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly. Now Stroud. His throw incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Stroud on third down now. And he held on to it too long. A coverage sack. Down he goes. Disrupting that play and dropping him was Arnold Evacati. That time, Charles, great job keeping him in the pocket and not letting him escape. And, Brandon, I think this was a great example of the front and the back working together, meaning the back covering no place to go with the football. And the front... They'll start this drive out on the ground. Pushes past him. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. Another first down there. This one goes for 25. 19, Tiger, 19, Tiger. Stroud. Robert Woods, 26 yards. And the Texans are well on their way to a 5-0 start as they extend their lead. Yet another touchdown in what has just been a high-scoring affair, a fun one to watch. And it's the rookie quarterback, Charles, coming through with yet another touchdown pass to pad the lead. Did we come into this game where defense was optional? Because it's... Throwing to start the drive. Stroud. He'll get the hook up there to Woods. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's good for 28 yards. 
They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. And he's got Rome. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 230 yards rushing for him now in the afternoon as he just continues to pummel this defense. And having built that kind of a lead, they're able to do whatever they want right now. All momentum on their side, especially now running the football. Yeah, you're talking about a defense being on their toes. They don't know what's going to hit them next at this point. No, they went from toes to heels, and they're trying to figure out how to get back to the toes part. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Now, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Devin Singletary from 17 yards out. And the Texans continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Well, where our booth is here, we can see all of the writers to our left and their post-game stories, Charles, they have been filed for some time because this game, boy, is it lopsided. Yeah, we can see our guy Scoop. He's even got his fedora tipped over his face. I think he's taking a nap now. Nothing. Now they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and ten. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. Look at the big fella go. Touchdown, Houston. Dalton Schultz, 75 yards. And the Texans just continue to roll. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QBing is easy. How about this guy? Come on, come on. Set. 60 by 60 by Stroud backed up near his goal line. Going deep for Hopkins. And got his man complete. Now he's loose again. DeAndre Hopkins. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, business as usual for them. Well on their way to another victory. Riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. Stroud now to throw. Taking a shot for Dell here. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Zone coverage there and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there and it winds up incomplete. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Now a second and ten. Operating from the gun. Stroud taking a shot for Dell here. That's caught inside the 20. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. The 
this thing is ugly. Another touchdown here in the fourth quarter, and Charles, I think we can start to consider that this undefeated streak of theirs is going to be safe for another week. And, partner, you don't make it this far into a season without a loss unless you're getting contributions from both sides of the ball and sometimes even your special teams, and that's been true today, each side helping guide them to this late lead. This was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory. Even better for them. So for Houston, they improve to 5-0 and now on the young season. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Atlanta... Thank you. 